Ahmad Bandi was found guilty of 30 murders, but most researchers believe that the current number of victims exceeds 100. He was one of the scariest serial killers in America, but he was also a very charming man, whom women were crazy about. They even came to the courtroom when everyone knew what Ted Bundy was doing in his free time. There is a legend that the sister of Ted Bundy is his mother. She gave birth to a boy at a very young age, so her parents, that is, Ted's grandparents, adopted him. And only becoming older, Ted found out that his grandparents raised him. This episode seriously affected Bundy's psyche. He harbored the grudge against his mother. Never forgive a lie. The personality of the maniac's father is also debated. The birth certificate shows the name of a confidant Lloyd Marshall, but subsequently, Louise Cowell called another man, Jack Warrington, who allegedly seduced her. There is also a version that Louise gave birth to Ted from her father, but there is no evidence for such assumptions. In an interview, Ted Bundy described his grandfather with respect, but he told terrible stories about how he beat his wife, mocked animals, and quickly became furious. Life next to such a person brought Ted's grandmother to mental insanity. By the end of her life, the woman was registered in a mental hospital and was afraid to go out. It is not surprising that soon in the behavior of little Bundy, strange things began, which, unfortunately, there was no one to pay attention to. After graduating from school, Ted entered the local university, but did not study long. Soon he moved to Washington, where he also began to study, but again abandoned his studies. Bundy worked for some time in various places, and then, in the early 1970s, again decided to go to university. This time, the choice of a young man fell on the profession of a psychologist. He soon became one of the best students on the course. Professors praised an exemplary student. Then Bundy met Anne Rule who later became the author of one of the criminal's most famous biographies. She will tell in her books about the charm of a maniac. After graduating from university, Ted Bundy entered law school but was soon expelled for missing classes. That was in 1974. Around the same moment, the first reports of missing women appeared. The maniac had an eye-catching appearance. Curly hair, blue eyes, athletic physique, and stylish clothes. In 1969, Ted met his future wife, Liz, who incidentally had a small daughter. They began to live together. In some years, Ted worked on the helpline of the Crisis Center for Suicides. His friends recalled that he did it very well. He communicated with women, especially calmly, and always discouraged them from committing suicide. Bundy later, worried about the level of violence against women, issued an instruction entitled, So Women Should Defend Themselves Against Rapists. There were handy and necessary tips. The only thing, he forgot to warn that you need to protect yourself from him. To catch his victims, Ted put on a plaster and pretended to have a broken arm or leg. He asked the girls to help him put books in the car or to bring some things, then hit on the head and drove to the forest. What did Bundy say about himself and his crimes? I was not one of those who stagger around the barns or bum. I was not a pervert in the sense that it was enough for people to look at me and say, I know that something is wrong with him. I was an average person. I had good friends. I led a normal life, except for one small but mighty and destructive moment that I kept dearly secret. Even after Bundy's guilt was proved in court, some people did not believe that such a nice person could cut off the heads of women. Moreover, Bundy was liked not only by women who came to the courtroom and built his eyes, he managed to charm the lawyers, 
the prosecution, and even the judge. One woman once stated in the courtroom that she would not have refused a man like Ted Bundy. For Bundy, in principle, this was normal, but there is one strange detail. The women represented the prosecution. Interestingly, Ted Bundy unexpectedly proposed to Carol Ann Boone during the final stage of the trial. She was his former colleague in the presence of the press. They got married in the presence of a judge. By the way, Ted Bundy escaped from prison twice. Even though he was one of the most dangerous criminals, he managed to escape twice because he managed to fall in love with the guards. The first time they left him alone in the prison library without handcuffs and bars in the windows. The second time, Bundy was preparing an escape. He lost several tons of kilograms, made a hole in the ceiling and fled. After that, he killed several more women and one girl. They caught him by accident because Ted hit a policeman when he stopped his car. But the policeman did not even know whom he had arrested. 